So what we do at Wonga is we make small, short-term cash advances to customers in the UK, and we do it directly on mobile and on the internet. When we say small, what we mean, and what we mean by short-term, is that we loans up to 1,000 pounds, from literally one pound to 1,000 pounds, and from one day to 30 days. So it really is it's micro credit, it's micro finance. And what's unique about the service is we guarantee funds into a person's bank account in the UK within 15 minutes, 24 hours a day. So the market for personal lending, for unsecured personal lending in the UK is around 60 billion pounds a year. So this is a big, old market. And we've used, we really had two insights that we've used to, to attack the market and to try and figure out how we transform and clean up a market that has got a perception of being murky, but is very big and has, hasn't been touched by technology over time. And the, the first insight was that it was possible to build a brand and to become a responsible lender and to build a business that was ethical and good for consumers in a space where, that was emotional and where people were f where, where it was filled with a particular challenge and tension. And when we talk about responsible lending, what we mean at Wonga is really three things. We talk about and we implement on a day-by-day -day basis transparency. So really at the point of sale, does a customer know exactly what they're getting and what it's going to cost them at that exact point in time? Do they not have to read you know, the table on page 12 on some booklet that you know, Barclay sent the person three years ago when they took out their credit card? It's about really at that point of sale, do they know what they're buying? And, and, and financial services and retail financial services in particular is particularly poor at that. The second element is control. So why should customers take mortgages of at least 15 years? Or why should you have to take a personal loan of at least 12 months? Why should you have to take a loan of at least 3,000 pounds? So literally at Wonga, one can take a one pound loan for one day. And, and one can take 119 pounds for 11 days. One can take within those ranges any amount of days and any amount of time. And on top of that, we do free early repayments. So if somebody takes an 11-day cash advance and in five days they feel like they can pay it back, they log in, they don't have to speak to anybody, they log into the system, they pay back for the five days they've used and they don't even pay a, an admin fee to do the process to do that. And a significant proportion of people do that every month. So it's really handing control to the customer and letting people create loans on demand. So you know, it, it's more or less what Dell did when it innovated in, in PC distribution. You know, back in that day, it's, it's letting somebody configure on the fly a product that they want that suits them there and then, not what suits the, the bank or the, other, the financial service provider. The third, the third element of, of responsibility for us is selectivity. So you know, it's used, and in our case, we decided to use technology to try and figure out where this product was appropriate and where it was inappropriate. And, and you know, in practice at Wonga, we reject about 70% 70, 70 of applicants every day. So the system is super selective, and we go off and collect thousands of pieces of data for, on every application and, and you know, take that through our, our you know, massively advanced risk systems and make decisions on the fly around you know, where this product is, is, is appropriate or not. So that was the first insight. It was about building a truly responsible business that had best practices and was able to transform a business from a customer-centric point of view. The second, the second insight was that in, in retail financial services, companies really hadn't leveraged technology and weren't taking advantage of the, of the huge amount of data that has become available you know, in environments like the UK. And so for the first time ever in the UK, in the US, in Western Europe, we have totally automated the process of making and provisioning a short-term loan. So from the time that somebody hits the website, selects how much they want and how long they want it for, through, making, through going off and collecting thousands of pieces of data, making the decision, putting the money in the bank account and taking it back off somebody's debit card, that entire process is at 100% automated. And that's a, that, that has allowed us to build a business that's, that's very scalable. But more importantly, it's allowed us to deliver value to the customer that they, that they never had before. So it's allowed us to deliver at speed and with degrees of, con of, of convenience that are just unmatched and unheard of in, in retail financial services. So, you know, 
At Wonga, I mean, everything begins and ends with the customer. It's about being truly customer-centric, and everything we do kind of works, works around that principle. You know, we are obsessed with net promoter scores. I don't know if any of you guys use it in any of your businesses. You know, we have a net promoter score in the high 70s, which is kind of at Google and Apple levels, absolutely unheard of in, in retail financial services. And we've, we're very proud of that. We're very proud of the fact that customers love the service and people, people never feel trapped. They can get out whenever they want and they come back and use the service from time to time when it's appropriate and, and, and when we deliver great value for them. So I just want to show you a quick video of some actual customers. And you'll see we haven't used models. I like using Wonga because it's so transparent. It's so easy to use. There's no hassle, no hidden charges. One of the things I love about Wonga is their friendly customer services. It's very quick. The ease of use and the speed of the service that they provide and the fact that their customer service is second to none. They're easy, fast, efficient and helpful. Um, to make Wonga even better, hard to say. I can't see them um, improving on perfection itself. Sorry. <laughs> So, so, you know, we, we want it to be a genuine, better alternative for customers in the UK compared to the banks, the credit card companies, short-term lenders, et cetera, et cetera. And when you think about, when one, th one thinks about the, 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 the convenience of a service that one can go onto an iPhone or go online at, at any time of the day and get money into a bank account in 15 minutes, this feels more like a black cab service than the tube, for example. And it's not that you, one should always take black cabs and not take the tube. It's the kind of service that works in an ecosystem where there are different solutions appropriately for different requirements and different needs. And Wonga is very much a service that works for people occasionally, a couple of times a year, and that's how it's worked, that's how it's marketed, that's how it's constructed, and that's what, that's what it's meant to be. And, you know, the convenience is one thing, cost is another thing. And people look at Wonga, and we have a very high APR because the loans are so short-term and they assume compounding. But, you know, people use Wonga mostly as an alternative to bank overdraft fees. In the UK, customers pay £3.2 billion a year in late overdraft fees. So Lloyd's, which is government-controlled, charges £10 a day flat fee if you're over your overdraft limit and then charges for every debit card transaction, every check cashed, et cetera, et cetera, while you're in that. So if somebody's 100 pounds over their overdraft limit, they're paying 10% a day, plus transactional fees if anything's out. And, and that, that's the base level, right? So at Wonga, we charge people 1% a day. It's about, in that scenario, it's a tenth of Lloyd's. You know, often it's less than that, it's more, it, the delta is even bigger than that. The other banks are similar. I mean, Lloyd's isn't exceptional in that make, makeup. And so what we've given customers in the UK for the first time is a genuine alternative to the infrastructure that existed here pre-internet, pre-mobile, where we're using and leveraging technology and great business practices to help people and give, provide a, de a degree of choice that people never had before. So to end off, just to give you a sense of scale, we don't uh, disclose kind of financials you know, at all in public, but to give you a sense of, scale, of you know, a perspective on scale at Wonga, we're probably doing more personal loans a month now than any bank in the UK. So yeah, we're operating at scale as well as delivering speed and convenience and honesty to, to customers in the UK. And if you think that Barclays, which was founded I think in 1690, has taken this long to deliver this many loans, and we've done about three years, I think mean, yeah, it's growing about 100 times the pace at Barclays Group. So that's Wonga, and thanks very much. <laughs>